Ethan's like things to start on time. Uh, this was not quite enough to stop me from becoming a human. Uh, <laughs> but we have all managed to get here. I, I feel like asking an extra trick question of everyone, which is, does your tradition have a dawn observance? <laughs> and if some of you actually follow it. <laughs> The, uh, there's a reference in the Viking uh, literature uh, going out and greeting the sun first thing in the morning. It doesn't say whether it's at dawn or not. <laughs> of course, in the far north, sunrise can vary considerably depending on the season. Okay, so um, I think we have a quorum, and I'm pleased and delighted and a little surprised to see how many of you made it out. Can you all hear me? Yes. Good. Okay, so I'm going to, to um, just dive in and introduce uh, our panelists. And uh, we, I had a lovely series of 10 questions that uh, I was going to ask everybody until we did the timing and realized that there would be one minute per question for each of us. So we uh, got it down to five. But uh, I will be asking the question, and then we will just go down the row, uh, backwards and forward, to see what everybody has to say and um, where the similarities are and where the differences are. Can you introduce yourself first, please? Yes, I will. <laughs> uh, I'll try to remember. <coughs> right. <coughs> My name is Diana L. Paxson, and I've been a pagan for over 40 years, and I gradually started moving into becoming a haven uh, almost 30 years ago now, which is kind of shocking. Uh, I'm an elder in the Troth, which is the international haven organization. Uh, I am the Gevia of Hrafnar Kindred in Berkeley, which is one of the longest lasting heathen kindreds at this point. Uh, I coordinate the Troth clergy uh, training program, and I'm the editor of the Troth's magazine, Iduna. I've also written a number of books. Uh, the most relevant for this gathering would be Taking Up the Runes and Essential Asatru. And there are some novels out there, too. Uh, that should do it. Um, oh, right, I was going to get you. Right. Uh, Rob Schreiber is a trained practitioner within the Ole Freundschaft and Urglaube, practitioners of Brockerei Guilds, and he'll explain what all that means when it's his turn. Uh, but the thing, the reason I wanted him on the panel is because he's practicing a Germanic heathen tradition that has been in the United States for 300 years and has naturalized. Uh, he is the uh, Zever? Zever. Zever. I'm pronouncing things in Icelandic, sorry. Uh, uh, the godsman, the leader of Vistofing Sipschat which is a Beitsch congregation based in eastern Pennsylvania, and he is the author of A Dictionary of Urklava Terminology and the first book of Urklava myth, Myths. <coughs> okay. Aaron Laurie <coughs> is a Celtic scholar and practitioner, the author of Olam, Weaving Word Wisdom, of The Well of Five Streams, which is her new book, uh, essays on Celtic, Greek, and Celtic paganism, uh, and the collection of poetry, Fireflies at Absolute Zero. She has been one of the major writers and leaders in the Celtic Reconstructionist movement. And Sheva uh, is originally from Israel. She is the Shofet, the elected leader of Am uh, Thank you. That was pretty good. Uh, um, for short, Amma an Israeli nature earth-oriented tradition of peaceful warriors that reconnects and revisits the spirituality of the ancient Hebrews before rabbinical monotheism. Her academic background includes archaeology studies at the Tel Aviv University 
and she is the author of books on Hebrew birth, spirituality, and lot casting. She's lectured in many countries and at pagan festivals in the U.S. is the leader of the ADF, which the, is uh, I'm going to murder it. I'm real Spain. Thank you. <laughs> it's known as the ADF uh, most of the time by most people who are not in it for obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I mislead where I wrote you up. Yes, I'm the Arch Druid of Unreal Spain. I'm also a senior priest in our tradition. Um, also, I wrote a book but it hadn't come out when I sent that to you, so now I'm going to tell you. It's uh, <laughs> called Sacred Gifts, Reciprocity and the Gods. Uh, it is all about sacred reciprocity, about the give and take that the ancients had with uh, spirit and which we do today, at least in eight, I think all of us do today. <clears throat> Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Uh, Dr. Gwendolyn Reese is a priestess of Asima and Apollon in Washington, D.C. She's the president of the Sacred Space Foundation. She's a board member of the Cherry Hill Seminary, a graduate of Griffin Grove's, Griffin's Grove School of Shamanism, a Neoplatonist, a Theosophist, and she's taught spiritual topics for the past 17 years. She's also a scholar at the American University 